guys, welcome back. I'm so excited. I got a Panera Bread gift card for Christmas from my mom. And I just decided to use it today. Oh, I just got a chance to use it today. It is, oh my gosh, 8.30. Jay has the kids. Um, Jay has the kids. Hold on. Jay has the kids. We're supposed to get like a winter storm. We have like a winter storm morning. It's supposed to be from like today at 4 until 7 a.m. tomorrow. Then they change it to tonight at 7 until 7 tomorrow. So it is. Why does it keep doing this? Oh my god, I need a phone. I say it in every video. <clears throat> okay. Oh my gosh. My phone's dying. It's 8.33. I went to Panera, ordered my usual that I always get, and I haven't been to Panera in so long. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Jay texted me. He's got the kids, like, and now his work, there's a part failing. Like, he can't get it fixed over the phone. He had to go into work, like, and leave the kids with his parents. Like, oh my gosh. So that's what he just texted me. Okay, I gotta go. I'm filming. Um... Yeah, of all days. Anyways. I had a... Oh my gosh, phone. It doesn't want to charge. I had run around to do. And then... I started to get my mom's prescription for her. I took it to her. And then I... Stopped to get my stepdad's prescription. Took it to him. He had back surgery. But... A week it was a week ago but it's like a week and a half ago this is the first I've seen him because I've been fighting this cold for over a week now oh my gosh I don't even know what day it is <laughs> so we took him his prescription I took the kids in so they could see him for a minute and then I took him to their dad's and then I had to stop and get dryer sheets which they didn't have nobody had my dryer sheets I went through a spell like two years ago where nobody carried them I had to pay a ridiculous amount for them online but I had to get toilet paper, paper towel, like that kind of stuff. And I was like, I'm getting Panera. They never have bread bowls in the evening. And they had, they had just one. I asked her, oh, dang, I have cookies too. I asked her, I said, you probably don't have any bread bowls, do you? Because, like, their whole, like, when if you go to Panera, like, where their cookies and stuff are, like, behind it, there's the racks where, like, the bagels and bread and all those things are. They were pretty much all empty. It's like, what the heck, are they going to be able to make my sandwich? I, they're not going to have... A bread bowl. They probably won't have a baguette. And they did. They had one bread bowl. So I got a bread bowl. Oh my gosh, it's still warm. I got a warm chocolate chip cookie. I got a triple chocolate. It looks like it has caramel or something. I don't know. It's a triple chocolate cookie. <laughs> I'm starving. I couldn't even tell you what I ate today. Yesterday, today, I don't think I weighed myself. <coughs> and today, I haven't felt anything that I've eaten today. So I think I've snacked on like some little chips. Some baked barbecue chips. And some... Ruffles chips and a couple powdered donuts, but whatever. So I got what I always get. The Sierra turkey sandwich. It's turkey, red onion, like a chipotle mayonnaise. And it usually has like uh, these like mixed greens on it. Like, I don't know what they are. And then the bread bowl with the broccoli cheddar soup. Oh my gosh, my stomach is growling. My stomach hurts. <laughs> and here's where they cut the bread bowl out. And then the little baguette. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. So, so happy. <laughs> Yum. Panera is kind of expensive. Especially like if you get it to go, then it's kind of like fast food. And this right here is 15 something. Okay, whoever has a radio blaring. I kind of feel bad though, because just the other day, Adrian says I'm not going to Panera. And here I am having it without him. Mm. 
I mean, there's still more on my gift card I can go again. It's not like they're closing their doors and we can never go again. But, you know what I mean. But, Mama, I'm just, I haven't even been home like 10, 15 minutes. And just to have silence. Oh my God, it's great. When you're a stay at home mom, like, you don't get breaks, you don't get silence. Especially with a toddler, a baby. Today's Friday, the 17th. Jackson turned nine months old today. How is that even possible? So I ran my errands. I don't even know what I was gonna do. I ran my errands. I'm home. Like some days my kids are great, other days it's like there's literally at least one kid crying. The entire day. Adrian didn't have school today. Some like teacher in service thing or something. I don't have school Monday. Martin Luther King Day. Um, so it's a four day weekend. But even when they go to bed, there's still some signs because like Alex has her ocean waves during the night. I need to get one of those for Jay's house because they don't sleep very well there. I bet they need their sound machines. Um, and then like in my bedroom, Jax is in my room and he has this little music player. They sleep when it's quiet, but then any little noise wakes them up. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> this is definitely not keto friendly, so I'm getting it out of the way. Guys, I'm starting my diet Monday. I just stopped at Walmart. I got the pork rinds, so I won't be having chips. So the barbecue, which I've had before, where I did the keto diet, and that spicy buffalo. So I have these like as chips, or like, yeah, like chips with my um, egg salad on cucumber slices. <coughs> Delicious. I like the crispier ones, like the harder ones. I love gift cards. I have so many hauls to do using my gift cards. I placed an order at Sephora. It already came. I just got soup on my nose. Placed an order. With Bath and Body Works, it already came. That was gift cards. <clears throat> I have a ton that I got at Dollar Tree. That was a gift card. Um, what else? Oh. Bath and Body Works. Sephora is in there. Dollar Tree. Oh, I just got some clothes at Walmart. They had a bunch of cute stuff on the clearance racks. Um, that was a gift card. What else do I have? Oh, I got some Glam Glow products that came just today. Mm -hmm. I placed an Ulta order online. Because I can't ever go, like, gift cards are great, especially you can just, like, shop at home when you have a free minute. It's supposed to be here tomorrow, though. I was just at Meyer. Got a couple groceries. Got a big pack of paper towel, toilet paper, and I was on gift card. <laughs> I love it. I don't know if I mentioned or not, but we got our finally got our hearing date. It's for March 10th for our child support. I mean, that's still two months away, but at least we have a date now. The 
This is like the best thing ever. I should have got two cups of soup. I eat off all my bread. Oh, that's so good. They had the Panera bread soup at the grocery store. I remember trying, like, that takes away from it being a treat. Like, if I can just get it at the grocery store, it's like $4, I think. Has anybody tried them? Does it taste just like... You haven't eaten all day. You haven't had Panera in months. This is the best sandwich. Turkey. That Chipotle mayo is so good. And the bite and the red onion. This is the best. Oh, this is the best. So yeah, go there. Get the pick two. <clears throat> get the broccoli cherry soup and a bread bowl. Get the Sierra turkey. And then come back and tell me what you think. Because this is amazing. you guys wrong. I gave you the perfect sandwich to get from Subway. Mm. Can you hear that? It's sleeting right now. It just started. No. Some things say one to three, some say two to four. Um, but then it's supposed to be in the 40s tomorrow, so it's all going to melt. You hear my stomach rolling? <clears throat> it was last Sunday I went to urgent care, and all they gave me was. Ow. All they gave me was decongestant. So I'm still trying to get over this crap. My voice comes and goes. Still coughing. Especially when I have like coughing attacks. Oh my god. God, this is so good. I need to make one of these like myself on my diet without the bread. Turkey, green, red onion. And chipotle mayo. On a wild Friday night. perfect silence. I get relaxed <clears throat> and rest and hang out. I have clean to do, but I'm not doing it. I'm arguing pajamas. Perfection. Good. I hope he 
gets his work thing fixed. I mean, kids will be fine while he runs to work, but... If he's there for hours, that would suck. <clears throat> if you watched my Ready Up for Christmas video, I had a lottery ticket with a $10 winner. I cashed it in the other day. I got another $10 card, and I won $10 on it. I forgot I was going to cash it at Meyer when I was just there a little bit ago. So I was heading for the doors, and I'm like, nah, I'll do it another Mmm. That is so delicious. Mm. Mm. If you like four hours of nutritious, steady energy. Uh -oh. Have you watched my um? <clears throat> grocery haul. I used to do, I got these Belveda sandwich things, the cinnamon brown sugar with vanilla cream. I opened a pack yesterday for the girls to try and share. Oh my gosh, we ended up opening like three packs and all of us sharing them. So today I got two more. I took one to my mom today to try. It's not a box, it's like a packet. Excuse me. Excuse me, because she likes those bars too. Those are amazing. So you know when you were a kid and you'd have like graham crackers and you put icing on them or in between them? And they like an icing graham cracker sandwich? That's what it tastes like. I wish I would have got like five soups. I'm so hungry. Mm. I'm so hungry. I'm so talkative. Ooh. Fun fact. I worked at Panera Bread for one day. <laughs> one shift. Have an interview. So excited. Went got my special shoes to wear in the kitchen. <clears throat> Went in for my first night. It was on night shift. It was for third shift. We was going to pay like 15 bucks an hour. Like, wow, for $15 an hour I get to like work in the kitchen and like bake? No. I went in. Or with this guy, he wasn't in the best mood, anyways. And as it worked, it's like, man, do I, do I get a break? Do I get a break? It was 10 hour days. It's like, man, when do I get a break? You don't get a break on third shift because you're there by yourself. <coughs> and you have timers going off left and right because you're constantly taking things out of the ovens. We're rolling out these pastries, getting these pastries, getting these out of the freezer, putting them on these racks. I continue. You can get like a three minute break if you want to. Cause you can get like a three minute break in between oven timers going off. It's like, that is not safe. For one, I'm not going to be in this place completely by myself. No, not in this town that we live in. No place is safe. Number two, I'm not going to stand on my feet for 10 hours and not get a single break. Like that's a long time. Smoker or not. Just be standing on the kitchen floors and for another like you're back there with all these ovens like it was insane oh Ashley she commented on my um 
Penn Station video. It was really good. Ashley Hansen, hi, shout out. Oh, I need to do a shout out to Suzanne Emery, uh, my friend from England. It was her birthday on the 14th. I keep forgetting. Happy birthday, Suzanne. I would sing, but I don't think you want that. She asked me if I would do a shout out for her birthday. It was January 14th. Happy birthday. How about this? Alexa, sing happy birthday. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Happy birthday, Suzanne! I know, I'm a total nerd. How about that for a shout out? I don't even remember what I was talking about now. <laughs> oh. Actually, I commented back on my video. I don't know what all it said because... All of my chargers suck. I can barely move them. They stop charging. My phone sucks. Why is it so cold in there? I can't even see what that is at. It's an iPhone 6. I've had it for years and years. <clears throat> it's like always full. So it doesn't like work very fast. It never wants to charge. And when I do get a charge, it doesn't hold a charge for crap. It was at 69% when I left her earlier. I drove from my mom. It's like literally five minutes away. And I drove from her house to the city utility building right I uh, maybe 10 minutes in the traffic downtown. And they were down to 51. Like, I wasn't even on it. Junk, I tell you. Ma'am. Should I keep pounding on the bread? It's so good. Mm -hmm. I need to. I'm going to look outside. Burr. As long as we don't lose power, I'm good. Alright. I want some of this inside bread. It has like soup remnants on it. I just showed Ashley a message today. So good. I think if I ever worked at Panera, I would never like their food after doing the work. I used to love cleaning. I mean, I still like cleaning, but them. I worked full time at a factory job. <clears throat> and then my sister worked for a heart doctor's office. She like, answered phones. And their cleaning people sucked, so <clears throat> I had to bring my own supplies. I had to key the office, and then after hours, I would go in and clean the office for a couple of hours. Mm. 
And then, I did for a few months. And then my factory job, my full-time job, picked up to where we worked like six and seven days a week. Anywhere from 10 to 12 hour days. And it just became too much to work both jobs. I also, at a different time when I still worked at my factory job, I was there for like 12 years. They did a huge layoff and laid a bunch of people off. So while I did that, I got a job doing housekeeping at a hotel, country inn and suites. So I cleaned there for a living. And then, let's see. Pretty sure Adrian was one. I went and got a job at the hospital. And housekeeping. And I was there for two years. And then it's like, huh. Eh, being paid to clean is great because I enjoy cleaning and I'm making money doing it. But when you're doing it at home, you gotta get paid more. <coughs> if anything, your work's being destroyed while you're in the other room. Man, it really sounds icy out there. Here is a, she said it's a triple chocolate, but it has like, I don't know, it looks like toffee or peanut butter chips. Or, I don't know, I can't. <laughs> Tastes like a brownie. That's a cookie for my girls. Because they love chocolate more than anybody's ever known. Dark chocolate, white chocolate, it doesn't matter. I'm a milk chocolate person. Mm -hmm. That's good though. Okay, here. Nice warm. Yep. <laughs> I'm a chewy cookie person. I can't believe I forgot to send Jax's blanket. blue anchor blanket. I cover him up every time he's in his car seat with it. I forgot to. <clears throat> I just have diapers and wipes and baby food and formula and clothes for Allie, Jamie's for Allie, clothes for Jax, Jamie's for Jax, toys for Jax, the saucer, Allie's blankie, Allie's sleep sack, Allie's glowworm. Her cup. Her goldfish container. With some goldfish. So good. On a gift card. Mm -hmm. 
I really wish I had more soup. I'm ready for bed in this attack. Alex got up at 3 o'clock this morning. It's 9 out there. I got to bed like midnight. She woke up at 3. So she and I came out to the couch. Stayed awake until seven. So then I was able to go back to sleep. <clears throat> and then Jax was up at 8 30. What is that? Four and a half hours of sleep I got? Mmm. Why can't my kids just like stay little forever? I can't believe Jax is nine months old today. Here in like two weeks, Adri turns eight. Then exactly two weeks later on Valentine's Day, Allie turns three. Jax will be a year old in three months, you guys. Oh. Somebody asked me, like, how his appointment went with the doctor for his eye. Um, it took him December 10th to Dublin or Columbus to see a pediatric neurologist for his eye. Because when I droops, you don't really notice it if he's laying down, but when he's sitting up, you really notice it. And if he's tired, you really, really notice it. So he did all kinds of checks. Um... <clears throat> making sure like both sides of his smile were even making sure like when he cried both eyes watered the same he was like making him get upset and making like making sure both sides of his face got all red but it was evenly dispersed um he was turning the lights off and turn the lights on making sure his eyes dilated properly uh, everything seems like pretty symmetric so as of right now He's pretty sure that it's not nerve related. Because there's a he says there's a nerve that goes through your eye and it kinda goes down your neck and wraps around and comes back or something. And if there, it's like a nerve issue, um excuse me, then like things wouldn't be the same. Like one eye would cry more have more sorry, have one more tears than the other, or like one side of his face would get red and splotchy and the other side wouldn't like so as of right now, Jackson has absolutely zero um, signs of it being nerve-related. They said it could be muscle-related, like when he's tired, like the eye muscle gets tired, so it might just be like a tired eye muscle that just isn't fully developed all the way, so it's not like as strong as the other one that could be causing the problem, like his muscle might not be strong enough to hold his eyelid open all the way. It could possibly be that. Um, he said there's a slight, slight chance that it could be from a brain injury but the chances of that are so slim and like they don't want to do an MRI on an infant like unless there's like a reason to believe he had some kind of brain injury which when he was just a couple months old Adri accidentally kicked him in the head and I brought that up to the hospital when Jackson got sick and I brought that up with this guy and he said a, a small like accidental kick to the head isn't like, it's more than likely not what happened. Plus, his eye drooped before then, because we look, started looking back through pictures, and it drooped before then. Um, <clears throat> he said it's possible that it could be something that would get less noticeable as he gets older. Like, not really that he would grow out of it, but it would just be less noticeable. I swear, when I look at Jax from the side, one eye looks bigger and, like, like, sticks out farther, you know, so that means like it would hold the eyelid open more where the other eye, the one that droops, seems like it's smaller and it's kind of back in the socket farther, which if it's not out of the way, then it's going to not hold the eye open. So if it bulged out, it would open the eye more. I don't know. Everybody thinks I'm crazy when I say that, but I swear that's what it looks like. But I swear there's a, a, 
like a time span when Adrian was little that I thought the same thing and that her one eye looked droopy. I don't know. It definitely droops. He um, said if I if there's any change in the way he eats, because like sometimes when he drinks a bottle, he dribbles down the side. It's just been like that pretty much since birth. Uh, but it doesn't matter if he's got a slow flow nipple, a medium flow. Like, I haven't even tried fast, and he's nine months old because he just can't swallow fast enough. But they, they're not concerned with that. They said, yo, just keep an eye on it. If He said if anything changes from this point on, if his smile isn't the same, if you know, anything whatsoever, he's eating and he only drools or dribbles out one side. If he has problems swallowing his food, anything whatsoever, he wants to see him back. Other than that, he wants to see him back on around his first birthday. And they, he set me up with an ophthalmologist to see Jax. <clears throat> And he said, you know, it's possible if his eyelid droops to where it's actually, like, in, causing an issue with his vision. Like, and I don't know. It might because if you barely put your eyelid down, like, it does affect your vision. So if there's any, if it affect, if his eyelid is affecting his vision whatsoever in the slightest way, which I don't even know how they would even determine that since he's an infant. He can't tell you. They would go in and put in, like, a stitch or two to hold his eyelid open farther so it's not obstructing his vision. But it's like, if you even close your eye the tiniest bit, you can... I mean, you can see it, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they're supposed to call me. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't. So I called them today. I'm like, you know, I was supposed to get a, a phone call from the ophthalmologist setting up an appointment for Jackson. I said, we were there December 10th. It's now January, what is today, 17th. <clears throat> I said, I've never heard back. So she pulled him. She said, yeah, they were supposed to give you a call. I said, I'll just call him right now on the other line, and we'll set you up an appointment. So he had his appointment, and they said since it's his first appointment, um, plan on it being a two-and-a-half-hour appointment, and it takes almost two hours to get there, so... It's going to be a long day. But we went last time. It was perfectly fine. He was the best baby ever. And then my mom and I, like, when my mom took me, she, um, we stopped at this, like, pub, this Irish pub place, and it was freaking amazing. She's like, so oh, I text mom the date and time of his appointment. She's like, well, now we got to decide if we want to eat that same place, which was so yummy, <laughs> or try a different place. Um, so, yeah, so she'll take me to that. It's like, it's nice to have a second set of ears there to hear things that the doctors tell you. Today's Friday, uh, Adrian doesn't have school Monday, and then Tuesday she goes to the plastic surgeon to, for them to look at her ear, because we had to reschedule it last time because of the weather. And they will determine, you know, how they're going to go about fixing it, how much it's going to cost, all that stuff, because insurance doesn't cover it, because it's cosmetic, it doesn't medically need done. It's like, she's seven years old, and her ear is completely split in half. It's like she just doesn't like the, sh the size or shape of her earlobe, you know what I mean? It got accidentally torn from her earring. <clears throat> so go to that Tuesday and then at the date of the appointment where they actually fix her ear you have to pay for the appointment up front but what I've been told by a few people it's around $600 I had to pay $100 just to get the appointment like they charge $100 just to book the appointment but a couple of my friends said that when they did that when they went in and had their procedure done with similar issues um, that $100 that they put down went towards the actual bill of the procedure which that'd be awesome but yeah that's what we got going on I need to get Jackson in for one more set of shots to get him caught up because he's a little bit behind. And now I got to get. What else do I have to do? I don't know. I think me and him. No, me and Alex have a doctor's appointment coming up because it's coming up on her. It's coming up on her third birthday. I cannot believe she's going to be three. I cannot believe she's going to be three. I cannot believe Adrian's going to be eight. Like my firstborn is going to be eight years old. <clears throat> Which is really weird because 10 years, and like within two days I was in having a uh, DNC to have it all removed. Um, but yeah, so that means if that baby would have survived, I would have an 18 year old. What? What? That's like most of my friends do. Most of my friends are kids are graduating. A lot of my friends are grandparents. And then here I am, I have a freaking nine month old. <clears throat> it's crazy. I'm 41 years old. I'll be 42 this year. And I have a nine-month-old baby. <clears throat> I wouldn't train him for anything. I love that little boy. I love all my kids. Like, I don't know. There's no way to to describe the love you have for your children. Like, if you're not a parent, like, a lot of people don't want to be parents. That's fine. A lot of people are parents and shouldn't be. But I don't know. The love I have for those kids, there's no words. There's just... Sometimes you just sit there and just watch your kid play and laugh and giggle, and I swear your heart just grows even bigger. <laughs> like, um, 
Jax was a total mama's boy. His mommy's baby through and through. The last couple days he's been saying mama. And I know it's intentional because he says it a lot when I leave the room. He'll start crying, mom, 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 mom. <clears throat> the hell was that? <laughs> His first tooth came through the skin a week ago today. It was last Friday night. I sent a different vlog. Uh, Adrienne got her first tooth on her first birthday. I cannot remember for the life of me when Alex got her first tooth. Um. Who he got his before on his own? All right, now I'm just rambling and eating when I'm not even really hungry. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for spending your Friday night with me. Again, huge happy birthday to Su to Suzanne Emery from pretty sure England. Yeah. So if you would, if you've made this far in the video, comment down below. Happy birthday, Suzanne. Um, and I've just said her name so many times, I feel like I'm saying the wrong name now. No, that's her name. I'm tired. I had, Like I said, I didn't get much sleep. I'm just exhausted. I'm trying to get over this cold. <clears throat> it's Suzanne. Suzanne Emery from England. Yes, happy birthday. <laughs> Um, thank you for having dinner with me. I thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like these videos. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you like these videos, then you can be here to watch all of them. And yeah, I will see you in my next video, guys. Be, be Stay tuned for hauls because I got a lot coming at you. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. I have a couple eating videos I've already filmed. Um, a recipe. I have hauls to do. I have another Nadine West that came. I'm sure I'll vlog. I'll be doing weigh-ins and what I eat in a day. I'm starting my diet back on January 1st. Um, if you missed my body shot video, go check that video out. Give me a thumbs up for putting my blubber out there for the world to see. <laughs> Thank God only a couple hundred people have checked it out, not the whole world. And yeah, I've got to shut up and look outside and see what it's doing. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!